I'm Christy Duffy for Smart Trend News. Morgan Stanley analysts are raising their price target for Rogers Communications to 41 Canadian dollars and reiterate their overweight rating on the company. Analysts Simon Flannery, David Gober, Benjamin Swinburne, Philip Nanny, and Cynthia R Repeka said, quote, Rogers exhibited good ARPU improvement and cost cutting in the quarter, positioning the carrier well to face the increase in competition. Rogers' large smartphone base drove a solid postpaid ARPU beat in the first quarter. After accounting for an estimated $8 million benefit from the Olympics, ARPU fell a half a percent despite pressure on the voice side. Data revenue grew 40 percent year over year in the first quarter and now makes up 26 percent of service revenue. Going forward, Rogers should continue to lead peers in loading high ARPU subs, moderating ARPU declines. Expanding margins and growing EBITDA help drive 27 percent year over year increase in free cash flow. Supporting the repurchase of 9 million shares, $302 million in the quarter. We continue to expect year-over-year postpaid ad share declines into the mid-30% range as 40% postpaid ad share will be incre increasingly difficult to gain. We note the loss of distribution from the source may have impacted first quarter ads. Cable showed solid results in the first quarter, particularly in RGU strength at both, both broadband and telephony, as well as strengthening ARPU. Additionally, margin outperformance in both the cable and media segments highlighted strong cost containment programs. We believe Rogers is attractive at 12.6 times our 2010 EPS and 5.8 times our 2010 EBITDA. The bank sees a fiscal 2010 EPS of 278 Canadian dollars and fiscal 2011 EPS of 3 Canadian dollars and 3 cents. I'm Christy Duffy for Smart Trend News. For more on this story, visit our website, tradethetrend.com.